um, I'm gonna break this tutorial into a couple of parts and so yeah, let's get started with the first part so to play the first part that's the intro I guess index finger second fret fourth string middle on the third fret fifth string like that and then with the finger picking you have to do this not that good at teaching so I'm just gonna play it slowly for you so you can see how to play it So with with each, so like with that, you just have to do it with this finger placement. You have to do it twice, and then you have to move this. Nothing, just don't change the finger positions. Like the frets, just move it two frets up, and do the same thing. And then you have to do. You have to place your index on the 5th fret of the 4th string and finger on the 7th fret of the 7th string and the same thing do that twice same finger picking pattern it does not change and then we go back to this which was the second placement if I'm not wrong you do the same thing Then what you do is you leave your left hand completely free and you just need to take or you just need to do this with your right hand. So you're doing this. The difference between this finger picking and what we did previously was that now you're including even the high E string. Like do that twice. And then you have this placement, which is a C chord that's um, moved like two frets up, if I'm not wrong. And then you do this. Now you're not playing the high E string, you're just doing. And then ring finger seventh fret fifth string. Now you're playing even the high E string. And back to this C. And you play this string. That's the fourth string, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, fourth string. So that's the first part of it. Then you're gonna play. Wait, let me think. The next part we have to do is fifth string, second string, then again fifth string, then third string, then again you play the fifth string, second string, after playing the second string you do a um, Pull off if I'm not wrong. I'm not quite bad with these terms. So it's a pull off, I think, from the second fret to open on the third string. Like that. Like that. Alright. Then we have to do. Then um, second fret of the fourth string. Once you play it once, and then you get back to this from our first part that is a C chord which is moved just like two frets up. It just sounds like. Right? Happy about that. Then, um. The next part goes something like this. So that's um, index second fret of the string. Then fourth fret. 
open third third fret second string then you do the same again yeah, sorry and then second fret on the third string same thing over and over again but so what's the lyrics we have it's the same thing and then again uh, down Liz by the time so you just it's very repetitive you can keep playing for as long as the verse lasts Worst lasts. That is the worst. Like oh to see, wait, oh to see now my It's so hard to sing, and <laughs> your fingers still get out at the same time. But then again, it's the same for the boundless. By the time I cried, it's the same thing. And again, white noise, what an awful sound. So it's the same thing, you can keep doing it. I think it happens four times. The fourth part goes something like this. Play the fourth part. I'll just have to play the fourth part. Open on the high string. Third fret on the second string. Open three again, like because then pull off from the first fret to open on the second string. Then again, you do the C chord, which is two frets high. Open on the second, third on the second. So again, you do the finger roll thing like the same thing. Then second fret on the third string, and I think you do that once again if you go by the lyrics. So after doing it twice or once depending on if you're going by the lyrics or not, then you just do a pull off from the second fret on the third string to an open leg. Then you have this, this position. And you do this again. See, it goes like. So that's the fifth part, if I'm not wrong. You have this finger position, and you do this. Then you just have to keep the middle finger on the third fret of the last string and do the same. This doesn't change with the right hand. You do it once and then you have to place your index on the second fret of the third string and you do the same thing again. That's it. if I'm not wrong then again you do the second part which is open C two frets up then this the same second part there's no difference then again this 
And that's it.